Test, test, test. Okay, we are live. All right, so hey. we should have ourselves so much more together this <laughs> evening, but we don't. It's okay, though. Yeah. Um, Welcome back to yeah. um, Love in 60 Seconds, yeah. 2020 edition. Absolutely. Uh, we are back. Hey, Angela. <laughs> hey. We've been gone for a while, so we are so excited yeah. to... I don't touch that, please. Okay, <laughs> to be back. So we're yeah. back here on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, we're coming back to you. We're just so excited to be on yeah. hiatus. Uh, we're, we were on hiatus. We were out there um, kind of uh, doing some things. We had a lot of people that were really kind of reaching out to us um, during the time that we were on uh, privately. They were reaching out to us and uh, we were, uh, you know, kind of mentoring and, and coaching some couples. And we wanted to, to make sure that we were the best prepared that we could be um, to do those things. So we both uh, went to school mm -hmm. yes, and got our certification as a certified Christian um, marital and relationship, um, marital and relationship coaches um, so that we um, got a little bit of education and credentials behind what it is that we're trying to do and how we're trying to help and affect um, people and making sure that they are um, being in a place where um, they're living their best love, they're living their best life. Definitely. So we are excited to be back. We're looking forward to a great year in 2020. A lot of vision. We have a lot of exciting things that mm -hmm. are coming at you. Hopefully a lot of fun things, a lot yeah. of topics. We know that you guys, uh, we got to build our audience back up, but we appreciate every one of you guys that had asked us, hey, when are you coming back? What's going on? Yeah. You know, can't wait to talk to you. And we cannot wait to talk to each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Pray with you guys, chat with you guys, yeah. and hopefully bring you content that can help you in relationships, help you in marriages. Um, whether or not if you are looking to be married mm -hmm. or if you are married, yes. we think we have some exciting things uh, coming up from conferences to um, fun things that we might also do as uh, counselors and coaches at our church um, to Absolutely. our 11 and 60 seconds that we will be consistently starting back up on Instagram mm -hmm. and these chats that we uh, do live with uh, Facebook here and Instagram. So please tell your friends, whether they're married, single, come join us just for half an hour, 45 minutes every Monday at nine o'clock. Absolutely. Um, uh, we do want to kind of give a shout out to our church and our bishop. Well, you, most of you know that we are members of Burning Bush Church uh, of God in Christ in mm -hmm. Westland, Michigan. That's and right. our bishop is Bishop Don Shelby and our uh, first lady is Evangelist Benita Shelby. And we want to make sure that we are shouting out because we are in the midst of relationship um, uh, building and teaching with our bishop on Tuesday nights. Um, and he's also going to be teaching in a love series uh, or fake love series uh, coming up on uh, Sundays. And our services have started at 10 a.m. And right. it was dynamic. This past Sunday was our first 10 a.m. service. So it was really, really awesome. Awesome. And uh, we're grateful <laughs> to God for that. Um, so uh, while Love and 60 Seconds is a separate entity, we are a part of that uh, of our right. church ministry. And they are our, our mentors. Yeah. Um our relationship and marital and uh, not only our mentors, but our examples. So uh, right. we certainly always uh, shout them out. We always uh, refer back to them uh, and we use them as a reference often um, because they've been married for over 30 years. And I That's think right. we, um, they're doing it successfully. So, so if you are on Facebook on Tuesday nights, you can tune in. Yeah. At six o'clock. That's right. Uh, uh, 630. 630 for their teaching. Yep. If you're in the area here in Michigan in the Ypsilanti, Westland, uh, Canton, uh, Detroit Bill, Bill, area, whatever, whatever. Yeah, come by and stop by our church. And um, this fake love series that our bishop is going to preach on is going to be awesome. All right, he's dealing so, with singles and uh, yeah, marriage, yeah. Uh, marital relationships on Tuesday nights, but the fake love series starts in a couple weeks That's right. on Sundays. So, so you can. Um, so we're going to get right on into yeah. it. We're starting it. Hey, if you are on Facebook, we appreciate you. If you could just send us a little message, make sure that you can hear us. Sort of last minute, so we want to make sure our volume's right. Yeah. And God bless you guys um, on Instagram. 
just keep liking the heart so we know that you're there. We yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah. So we're going to get right into it. We have a title today called, since Valentine's is coming up. Valentine's. Valentine's. Yeah. Times, Valentine's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day <laughs> is coming up. Ooh, that's a, a good topic there. Yeah. Not mispronouncing it. Yeah. We did a, Valentine's. Right, a topic. Valentine's. D-Day is not D-Day. Because yeah. sometimes um, in relationships, it can be D-Day because mm-hmm. you're so worried about um all the things that we're going to talk about. We want to Thanks. encourage you today that V-Day is not D-Day. Just the more, you guys are awesome. Thank you. We got the thumbs up. That means you guys can hear us. Awesome. God bless you, Jackie all right. and everybody. So we're going to get into it. Yeah. V-Day is not, not D-Day. D-Day. All, all right. right. So um, so uh, Valentine's Day, we want to kind of start for the couples. Um, you know, first of all, we want to know that St. Valentine's Day, which is the original date, um, you know, it's it's went back to the, you know, Roman Catholic Church uh, and St. Valentine. So it's a whole bunch of stuff that we could go into that we're not going to go into uh, with regard to that and surrounding that. Uh, But, you know, a lot of people put a lot of stock in Valentine's Day. They put a lot of stock in um, uh, you know, what is going to happen on my Valentine's Day? How am I going to celebrate it? And that's couples as well as singles. And we're going to say some things uh, dealing with both. Um, Okay. Um, but, you know, we're going to deal with both. But, you know, definitely we want to make sure that we're dealing with first couples because that's where we are with mm-hmm. um, marriage and relationship for couples uh, and the principles. And a lot of times we say in, in church, this is the day that the Lord has made, right? right Let us right. joy and be glad in it. Well, every day the Lord has made, but he didn't make Valentine's Day, right? You know, no, he didn't. That's not in the Bible. Yeah, Valentine's Day is Bible. not in the Bible. So <laughs> as Christians and as marriage coaches and, and, and in relationship, whether you're single, we're going to talk to the single. So if you're single, you're young, and you're 20, hang in there. Hang in there because we got something for you. But it's okay to, you know, not stress out about it. Right. But when you're in a relationship and when you're married, you want to make sure that if something's important to your spouse, important to your par- partner or is important to building your relationship and making it stronger that you want to put your best effort for. Absolutely. Cause we celebrate Valentine's day, but primarily because it's our anniversary. Mm-hmm. And even this year, my husband has to work on our anniversary, ah, but we're going to celebrate it. And we've been together a long enough time to be mature about that celebration. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though I don't like to be away from him on Valentine's day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, he's going to be, you know, uh, you know, we'll talk to each other, of course, and we'll make sure that we celebrate around it. But it's not necessarily because it's Valentine's Day. Like, we don't even really celebrate Sweetest Day. I don't think I've ever gotten a Sweetest Day card or gotten you one, and it's been okay. So um, you've got to make sure that what's important to you, that you communicate that to your spouse. Right, and keeping your dynamic. Like, Sweetest Day is not important to us, but because Valentine's Day is on our anniversary, it is. So you want to make sure that you're communicating with your spouse. That's so important because you want to make sure that what is important to them or it's important to them that you honor that. So if sweetest day is important to your spouse, it may not be something that you, you know, especially men be like, oh, that's just another Hallmark mm-hmm. made up holiday. Mm-hmm. But if your spouse expects a card or something nice, then you have to go that extra mile to fill in and make, and, and basically when we talked about speaking love languages Absolutely. and stuff like that, understanding what is important to them. Because that breeds healthy relationships. Absolutely. You've got to communicate. Um, what is your spouse's expectation? If they say, ah, you know, my, my expectation is nothing or I really don't care about it. First of all, you got to be honest. If you say, uh-uh, I don't care, whatever you do is okay, then it's on you. If they give you a nothing or a dandelion, then you say, oh, it's okay. I don't want nothing. You said it. So you got to make sure that you communicate what your expectation is. Like, and you don't have to be like, go do this, this, and this. You can be like, but I really like Valentine's Day. I really like, you know, the premise around it. I'd like to do some, you know, some fun stuff, some romantic stuff. And if you're a guy, you know, you want to, hey, if you want your wife to, you know, present things or present herself as a living sacrifice on that day, right. then you need to share with her what your expectations are. And I don't know really any married men that don't like to, you know, have a little intimacy on right. Valentine's Day or around right. and then, you know, how we can be arranged. Right. So uh, make it exciting, be creative. Uh, you know, those are things that I would say. That's right. And, you know, definitely um, you want to make sure that you are warming it up. So mm-hmm. if um, your spouse, especially your wife, like what you touched about, sometimes women will be like, oh, I don't want this or that. And they really do. Mm-hmm. Uh, men are just, their mindset is okay. That's <laughs> I go to work some more. I can relax. I can watch a football game because especially if you've been married a long time, get a little lazy sometimes or or just get into, okay, well, because you didn't weren't honest with me. 
yeah. you know, or if yeah. you lay it out and then you put it in our, on our plate. And then if we fail because we didn't do anything, now you can say, look, you have to do better, but you want to always make sure that you're saying, Hey, this is what I look because, you know, once you understand each other's love language, you'll understand how to please each other and how to make everybody happy or make each other happy in the relationship. So definitely put the effort into it. Absolutely. Again, uh, and, and you know, the bottom line is communication is the key. Nobody can read your mind, not even your spouse, even though it's like today <laughs> we're sitting on our steps in our house, just we chilled the whole day. Um, but we're sitting there and I'm thinking on the steps, gosh, it would be so nice if, if Frederick made some popcorn. And so he gets up, I didn't say it out loud. He gets up and goes to the stove and he starts making popcorn. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> did I say that out loud? He was right. like, no, did I say it out loud? I was like, no, but I was thinking it, you know, he picked it up. Uh, so they may or may not be able to read your mind, but don't count on them being able to read your mind. Be honest about what your expectation is and you will lessen the idea of being disappointed. So how can we help you or what are some ideas or examples to not make Valentine's Day D-Day. And D-Day was, everybody should know what D-Day and Doomsday. (laughs) So, you know, it it doesn't have, you don't have to spend extravagant gifts. You don't Mm -hmm. have to do anything just over the top unless that's what you roll with. Mm -hmm. You know, going on a nice walk, spending time together, going to a movie, taking a picnic, going to your favorite restaurant, going out, all those things are things that you can do. Mm -hmm. And especially men, you know, if you have a problem or not a problem or may not be the most romantic Mm -hmm. or intimate person, man, use Google. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Use Google, find out some stuff to do. But be even without Google, once you understand your wife's love language, yeah. What is most important to her? Then it's easy. Today, I'll give you examples. Yeah. Today, one of my wife's love language is um oh, of no, service. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, uh, okay. I was saying acts of service. Yeah. And meaning that she responds when I do stuff for her. So I am not a big cooker. Um, you know, I don't do a lot of stuff in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. But when we got up this morning, I was like, let me <laughs> let me make you some coffee. Yeah. Now the the, the first time I'm not, I don't drink coffee, so I had no idea. I just know what the coffee maker looked like. So I asked her, I said, okay, what do I do? How do I do it? You stay in bed and I'll take care of it. Well, when I tell you now I'm going to be the best coffee maker in the world, <laughs> one, because it made her so happy. Two, I was rewarded nicely for my effort. Yes. <laughs> but yes. but the, her that act of service. Yeah. I wash dishes. I did some stuff in the kitchen that I don't always consistently do. Yeah. And that made my day a better day because she rewarded yeah. me with my, um, yeah. my, uh, what do you call it? My, um, my affirmation. Yes. Yeah, so which is my love language, <laughs> yeah. which is affirmation. Yes, absolutely. Gave him affirmation. So, um, many affirmations uh, so uh oh my phone went out but yeah so you know definitely do that and uh, again you know we've, we've talked about this before you know helping your spouse spouse um uh, making sure that um hey there um making sure that uh you are you know giving your spouse what they need in the way that they need it not in the way that you think you need it but in the way that um that you know they need it Mm -hmm. um the next thing that we definitely want to talk about um and it like i said when you said use google you know if you don't know how um there was a couple actually um and and be creative there's a couple that they're very wealthy now but they talked about how they met at denny's and so every year they go back to denny's she was a waitress at the time and he was a young student uh i think a law student uh studying at the table um trying to, you know, pass his exams. Mm-hmm. And she was his waitress. And she was a young waitress as well. And, you know, and a young student as well, but that was her job. And they meet every year at that same Denny's. Wow. And so that's really romantic. And that's really something It kind of takes them back to the beginning of where they were. So if it can, and that doesn't really cost a lot. You know, they can afford to go wherever, yeah. but they choose to do something that's memorable and meaningful um, to them. So you want to do something that's memorable and meaningful for your spouse. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. It doesn't have to, uh, cost a lot. Uh, do what you do based on your budget, right. or based on what your ability and based on what the expectation is. If you can go out and be a baller, ball out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I love, to, I love to see when people are loving each other. Like, I, I guess that's why this is such a passion for us because I love love mm-hmm. and I love to see people, uh, you know, be successful in love. And always, Quality outweighs quantity every 
single time. Absolutely. You give from your heart. You give what is important to your spouse. You listen to your spouse. You understand what they like. It doesn't matter how big the gift is, how much it costs. The quality is what matters, especially in marriage. Mm -hmm. So in taking time out to 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 listen because there's some things that my wife has said to me that I've listened to that I've heard and if I do something in that vein it means more to her than than renting out a theater to yeah. watch a movie or yeah. buying a buying a expensive car or anything like that yeah some stuff that she will like but the because I had talked to the heart and ministered to her heart first right it makes our relationship even better Absolutely. Love don't cost a thing, as they say. Right. Um, there's a lot of, you know, songs and things out there that kind of relate to uh, love and all of those kinds of things. But, you know, it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything to um, show genuine acts of love and genuine acts of uh, of kindness. Uh, so, you know, again, he talked about maybe a favorite meal or whatever the thing, whatever it is, um, make sure that you're choosing that and that you're doing that and that you're sharing that with your spouse and be sincere about your expectations. Be sincere and ask them about their expectations. Usually it, the people miss it because they don't talk and they expect people to just, right. I don't know, you know, and they that, don't do it. And that's what turns your B day into a D day. It's because you don't open up. You think that your your spouse is a mind reader, um, and they may or may not be most of the time. Especially men, we're not. So a lot of times, if you lay it out on the table and if you express yourself and you're open about yourself, and men have to be the same way. You know, don't just think, oh, this is a woman's holiday. Well, you're married, or and mm -hmm. and your every day should really be Valentine's Day. Yeah, but absolutely. But what makes that day is that you sew into each other. Yeah. So if you are communicating and you're listening and you're talking, and you're having an open relationship where feelings and everything are expressed, it is is it makes it better. But also that communication is also a barrier. It yeah. is also a wall that protects your marriage from outside influence. Absolutely, because if you're not if you're not communicating with your spouse the chances are somebody else might be. So, you know, and they may be doing it subliminally and they may be doing it unintentionally. Uh, your spouse may be saying something to someone else um, unintentionally and you don't want that. You, want, you don't want anyone else knowing more about your boo than you, all right? So you wanna make sure that you are, um, that you're doing that and that you're, that you're, you know, sharing that information. I want to, um, like I said, we're not going to be long tonight because we got some stuff planned. <laughs> uh, but we want to talk to um, those that, that may not be in a relationship or you may not be in a, um, in a romantic relationship, I should say. You know, don't, again, don't let V-Day be D-Day because it's not. It's a day that man has created. Hallmark has boosted up. The flower shops have boosted right. up to make it a day that you know have people down in the dumps <laughs> you know yeah. and you should not do that uh, you should not subscribe to that and um make it like a day that is just you know making you feel alone and by yourself it's really not about that um it's about loving those that you are with and that you love yeah and especially so we're talking now to the singles you know even when we were dating or when i was single and dating her you know, Valentine Day could be hard, especially if you're in college, don't have no money, you know, struggling or whatever, because you're trying to impress. Yeah. You're trying to say, you know, this is what I'm going to do. and This is what I can do and ball out. And then sometimes when you're in that stage of the relationship, when you're still trying to, to vet each other, figure each other out. You know, you get so much pressure, but it's just another day. Absolutely. It is people, just another day. Yeah. And a lot of times people under that pressure, I don't mean to interrupt you, but under that pressure, people just like, they quit them. You like, you know, the first, the two weeks before Valentine's Day are like the biggest breakup days. Right. You know, break up a period of time because people are trying to get out of that, you know, vice or connection. Right, right. No, no, I'm just saying. I, I apologize for doing that several times. <laughs> no, <boy. laughs> but no, just just jokingly. But yeah. and, and but also, let's be real, woman. If you get in a relationship with a man that does that, yeah, it's probably not the long term relationship no. you want to be. Because when you love something or something's important to you, you're gonna put the effort into it. I was telling my wife just the other day. Didn't you think about when you think about marriage and how it was in the Bible time? Mm -hmm. Men had to give a dowry. That's right. They had to pay for a woman to be married to them. And why was that important? Is because they had to give something important to them. They had to work for something, like yeah. Jacob did. Yeah. You know, they had to work for something. And because they had to work for something, when they had to give up something valuable, they gave up something valuable 
for what is valuable. Yeah. So ladies, don't let your value be taken in or to be undermined if your man or the person that you are dating, especially yeah. for singles, doesn't appreciate it. So they don't have to give money to buy you anymore, but they should be taking something valuable that's precious to them to save, to give, so that to you get know. you. Yeah. You know? yeah. So because you should be precious to them. So if they're breaking up with you on beef two weeks before Valentine's Day. You know, don't buy, 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 buy C. Um, because yeah. that, that's not an excuse. Because uh, honestly, this is how a man thinks you're not valuable to me because I can get you back or I cannot get you back because I just don't want to take the time to put in that. Absolutely. Effort. He may not have the money, but he shouldn't be investing at least the time. And that's, 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 um, that's married or not married. If you, um, you know, you value your spouse, you value your relationship, and that's women. You know, don't don't be. I'll be like, yeah, he better, he better get it. Take it. No, right, right. women, please. You have to make an investment. What is it that your husband wants? If he wants more intimacy, he if he wants you to initiate that intimacy. And I, I had to step away from the singles. I want to just just say that. But if he wants you to initiate that intimacy, if he wants you to to be more of the uh, you know lady in the streets and the you know what in the sheets, that's you know you need to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to to give him that, and and uh, you know you need to put on his mind you. So whenever he is at work all day, all he can think about is you. Whenever he, you know, like he can't hardly finish his lunch because he's thinking about you. So that is what you want to really uh, make sure that you're making an investment in your relationship as well. You want to make an investment. So back to the single stuff. Right. Um, celebrating, celebrating those that you love. You can celebrate, um, you know, you can have a Galentine, you can have a Broentine, you can have, uh, you know, celebrate your children or celebrate your nieces and nephews. You can celebrate your sisters. So many people, it's a day that they set aside for love. And if you choose to subscribe to it, subscribe to that love with those that you love. It yeah. does not have to be a romantic uh, Cupid day. It's a day showing pouring out your love. Yeah, that's very good. The one that you love. We have three, we have four boys and yeah. all of them are young men, all in their twenties. Yeah. And one thing that we, we tell them is that, or I teach them is like before, if you have a girlfriend or whatever, before you do anything as a single Christian man, you need to pour into that person that gave it to you first, which is your mom. Mm -hmm. You know, call your mom on Valentine's Day. Take until her until they get married. Right. Then they call right. me. Right. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about right. And as a young twenty year old, sure. You know, yeah. and to make sure that you are, are sowing into her because really your relationship first is, and regardless you're male or female, is with Christ. Yeah. And because of that, then that is a way to sow into yourself. Yeah. But then you take time to sow into the ones you love, and mm -hmm. you know, you buy your little girlfriend or whatever a gift or whatever, but don't don't forget your mom because yeah. that is how young men because if you learn to love your mother and honor yes. her then you're going to be able to be a good husband and yeah. honor your wife absolutely 100 yeah. percent. and i appreciate you for teaching our boys <laughs> that because they do treat me well and I, I'm, I'm grateful i'm grateful yeah. for that um but another you know another thing you know invest in yourself love on yourself and that's married or single you know uh, the first person you love on valentine's day that you boo up you boo yourself up get yourself a manicure get yourself a, a pedicure or do you know take yourself, you know, get something you like yourself, you like a specific candy bar guys or whatever it is, do that for yourself. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that you're not making uh, such a big deal out of somebody else responding to you to make you happy or somebody else, because happiness comes from within happiness comes from you. And so if you, um, take that happiness and, uh, you make it your own, you own your own happiness, then it's enhanced by the love of someone else. Right. But nobody can really make you happy. You got to be happy. Yeah. You got you to, and happiness is a choice because you can choose to be down in the dumps and have absolutely everything in the world and choose to be down in the dumps. Don't choose that. Choose happiness, choose life. And if you, you know, if you love God if, and you don't have a boo, oh my gosh, pour out your love on your father. Pour out your love. What can I give you? What kind of gift can I give you today, God, yeah. for Valentine's Day? And if you get consumed in that you know he's a great gift giver he may give you something back that wows your blows your mind because he's able to do that yeah yeah that's so true so you know that's pretty much it we just wanted to get back into the swing of things and we wanted to let you know that on this day that's coming up that is it's a great day but it's not the day yes you know right. don't stress yourself out over it don't worry about it but when especially when you're single and if you're married if you if you know your wife's and your or your husband's love language, your spouse yeah. is easy to sew into it. 
You got a big budget to do it big, and that's yeah. what your spouse like. Do it big. Okay. If you don't have a big budget, but you hit those the things that are intimate, that's important to your spouse, it's going to make a better effect or a better impact than any other thing that you can do. Absolutely. Singles, stay busy if you don't have somebody to go out and share with or somebody meaningful. If they've been a jerk, just because, just I mean, don't go out with them on Valentine's Day. Oh, you don't know them. Don't go out with them on Valentine's Day just because it's Valentine's Day. If they a bust, let them stay a bust still. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, still yes. stay a bust. <laughs> this this season that we're in and what we're coming to, we're going to really deal with how men and women talk, how they Absolutely. react. We're going to deal with how we look at ourselves, what we think is important. Mm -hmm. You know, women, how to love yourself. Men, how to respect women, how to respect each other. And a lot of things coming on. So we really just want to get your input. We appreciate you guys. On Facebook, we had to scroll down. We yeah, didn't see all the comments. Thanks, Lisa. Delayed. We Thank saw you. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, yeah, Damon. yeah all, all you guys um, so that were on Facebook. DM that. us. Yeah. Let us hear what you wanted. Because we're going to be answering questions yeah. also. So if you DM us a question sometime during our, throughout the week, we are going to come back the following week and answer your questions. Um, wow. So, uh, you know, definitely do that. Again, um, love, though, is something that should be given year-round. Your Valentine Day, Valentine's Day may not be... Uh, February 14th. It may be July 2nd. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? August 15th. Yeah. Whatever it is, uh, you know, to just blow your your spouse away. But, you know, pick a day. You know what? And, and actually, that's that's kind of like a little sexy, too. If you go in there and you just do it on a day that's not Valentine's Day, if you just, uh, you know, give them something, you know, that's not on the day that's supposed to be the day. Right. You know, blown away on a day that's just a regular, just like you just, you rock my world and I've been thinking about you all day and this is what I want to do for you for this day. Yeah. So be kind for no reason, but be kind for the reasons that um, should always be with, within the marital relationship. It doesn't matter how long you've been married, how old you are, especially those that are newly married though, because it's e really easy right. to get, especially in this fast paced life, it's really easy to not really fully connect, mm -hmm. make sure you're really fully connecting. And, and it's really easy if you've been married 10, 15 years just to, not to, to not fully connect true, because you true. get lazy, you get used to it. So yeah. um, we are excited. All we want from you is to just give us some feedback. Let us know if you enjoy it. We appreciate all the, the love and kindness that you've shown yeah. to us and asking for. So, hey, tell your friends. We would love for everybody that's married, for you guys as spouses, to sit down and watch us together. Yeah. But make sure if next week you can tell somebody, bring somebody. Yeah, say, share hey, this. Share this. this. And even you know, if they didn't watch it tonight, watch it. they can yeah. go back. We had a lot of people do that. So yeah. we want to you know, make sure it. you're sharing. You know, and then for those of us that are on Instagram, we might even sometimes start a little early and have a guest speaker and have some other couples mm -hmm. interact with us. So we want to hear yeah. from you. We appreciate you. You guys now continue to watch us on Instagram. We are at WhatsApp Entertainment. That's where we do a lot of our love and 60 seconds posts. And then we do our live stuff here Monday nights. Nine o'clock on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Appreciate you guys praying for you. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Yeah. This has been Love in 60, 60 Seconds. seconds. God, bless. Right, God bless. Bye bye. bye, -bye.